I will say this. When I disappear from time to time and come back and you're properly motivated, <laughs> you do get a lot of things done. It's what great. is the term a motivated bee? Is a good bee? Yeah, a good bee. Well, you were gone, left me high and dry. I figured, you know what? I'm going to keep pressing forward. <laughs> so I reached out to the guys at Powertrain Products, and this is what I've got. So yeah. now we've got an engine and transmission capable and worthy of this 20th anniversary build. We didn't go stock. We no. went much bigger and better. So we've got an LQ9 engine, right? This is an LS-based engine. But what the cool thing about it, this is basically the platform they put in all the trucks, right? Because it's got a steel block. It's got more displacement than the LS engines. But I love the iron block because it gives us the opportunity to upgrade this thing, right? Yeah. Put a supercharger on top, pack it full of boost, and make a ton of power. I love how initially this product started out as like something for me, and it was totally <laughs> turning into a Bruno truck. But I'm cool with it. It's know. a project for both of yes. us, right? That's exactly what it is. More power, sure. the better. And you know what the sure. good thing is, is when you get something like this, an entire powertrain from the, these guys, a powertrain products, is the fact that you've got an engine and transmission that are made it up as one. There's no guesswork. So we got the 4L ADE transmission with the right converter, so we know the whole thing is going to work together and it's all backed with a warranty so you got nothing to lose it is and what they do when they remanufacture all this stuff is they take known issues with the engines and they correct all of those and they'll they'll beef up with certain aftermarket parts so that you're getting the best possible configuration so the other thing is cool too you could be working not on a project like this but you could be doing pretty much anything and you call them up and you say hey here's what i want i need all this to work together they know what they're doing now obviously it's not ready to just start dropping everything in right now we still got to dress some things up but what this does is this gets us to the point where we can do a nice little mock-up and some test fitting and all this that the other so because we, we do have we got some bracketry that we need to do yeah we need to make a, a mount for that transmission yeah. That, yeah, and make sure that it, it's going to be secure inside the vehicle and uh, I say it's time to start dropping stuff in and making sure everything fits. Uh, this is a rocking start though, dude. I'm right? proud. Yeah, this, I'm very impressed. Very you need impressed. to go away more often. Not, not, to, not to give you credit, but I'm going to give you some credit on this. <laughs> I'm just going to snug these, dude. Yeah. Me too, because they got to slide around a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like a pit crew, dude. Look at you. Just wrenching on this thing. Just wrenching. You're making things happen. All right, there we go. There's a little bit of adjustability there. All right, so we're quickly throwing on the engine mounts. You know, the nice thing about working with an LS-based engine like this one is, is there's parts readily available to do that. So instead of taking the time to make a bracket, you can find one pretty much anywhere, and this works perfect for us. So simply bolt it on, and then we can put, test fit this thing. But before we do that, we got to get the cherry picker, and yep. someone's got to blow all the leaves and stuff out of this thing. Which one do you want? I'll take care of the leaves, dude. All right, I'll get the cherry picker. Trying to get to that point. Yeah. All right, hold up. Go. Just a little. Close. Welcome back to Truck U. So with a few minor modifications on the engine mounts, we've got the engine in place, and it looks pretty comfortable and pretty happy for the time being. Now we can shift our attention back here to the new transmission. Interestingly enough, we were talking to a couple buddies of ours, and they're like, hey, we don't know if that setup's going to work and <laughs> fit, right? But we've got hammers and cutoff wheels and welders that say different. Yeah, we can modify anything we need to to try and make this whole deal work. So you've got a couple different options, honestly, when you put a transmission behind it. You want to get something that's going to live, right? So some people might go with a 4L 60E, which is a smaller version of what we got here. This is a 4L 80E. This is a much more robust transmission. So basically, in its stock form, way stronger than the 60. And you know what? It's a little bit bigger. It might cause us to do some more modifications, but it'll save us time and money in the long run. So what we need to do is just get this up in there and kind of see where it lands. And what we're really looking for is how far back this is coming because we're going to have to make up another little kind of support for the rear end of it back here. Yeah, we need to support the trans on the backside. So right here is where the original cross member is, and we're hoping we can still use that cross member and then locate a new mounting bracket for the back end of the transmission off of it. We're going to find out here in a minute. Uh, let's, well, we'll see, right? Send it. I'm going to have to switch legs here in a minute. No, hold on. You can go that way, bro. I'll pin to you. 